Hello everyone, I'm Phyllis from the Art to Art store on Etsy and this particular instruction is for inserting text into editable images with OpenOffice. OpenOffice, if you don't have it, is available from www.openoffice.org. It is an open source program which means it's entirely, completely and utterly free. It's a very good program in that it's, it has the same abilities as Microsoft Office Suite, which of course includes word processing, spreadsheets, drawing, PowerPoint, and as I mentioned before, it is totally free. So we'll start by opening Open Office Writer. That you'll want is a text document. So let's get a new one, text document. Go to your menu items at the top where it says insert. Click on insert, come down to picture because you will be inserting a picture that you've either bought from my store or someone else's, but it will be an editable file. In this particular instance, we're going to work with this two up labels that I have stored and they will come up on the sheet of paper. At the bottom of the screen, you should see a line of drawing tools all the way across. Now, if you don't, then please go to the top where Menu Item View, Toolbars, and be sure that the particular one, Drawing, is checkmarked off. And then you will automatically have them all come up at the bottom. So now, click on the T. The T is for text and drag with your mouse to get a nice square mm, triangular, no I mean rectangular area approximately the size where you will want the text to go. You'll see this grey outline, that won't show later. Insert your cursor, well the, ins the cursor is there but it's aligned to the left. If you go up here you'll see there are the normal four Alignments left, center, and align right and justified. I think it's better if we choose center. So now the cursor has jumped to the middle and we're going to put in whatever we want. Well, I think I'll put my name, Phyllis. Well, obviously this is not going to be the right size, so let's highlight it. Go to Times New Roman, which is the default font and choose one other one and it must be one that you have on your computer obviously and I don't think that's a good one let's try something a little more bold so that it stands out uh, I think dolphin would be nice this still though it is a little better than times it's not big enough let's make it larger I'm guessing it's going to be around a 24 it will be black, so let's change the font color. Click down here. I'm going to choose a nice green. Maybe that one. Click off. There you have it. Very, very simple. Now let's suppose that this was not exactly lined up top to bottom as you would wish. Click in there again so that you can highlight the text box. And with the moving tool, which are the crossed arrows, you can now move this wherever you want all around the houses. Well, we'll just put it a little bit lower. There we go. More or less central. I like that. So now you have completed one particular square. You can then go on to do the rest. However many you have, they will be done exactly the same. Click the text box. T for the text box. Pull it out. Type in whatever you want to type. I like you. Well, maybe you do, but that doesn't look too good like that. Highlight it. <coughs> Choose a different font. Make it larger. Centerize it. Change the color. 
And of course, as we said before, if it's not exactly where we want it, we'll move it up a little bit. That's it. That's all there is to it. You're done. However, you may wish to print them, but before you do, I would suggest that you save this particular file as it is, and you'll therefore have the original always available to you. Go to File, Save As. Save as, put it on your computer wherever you wish. I'm, you give it a new name down here where it says file name and save. I'm not going to do that, but you will. That means your original will always be available for you. And now you can repeat and have hundreds and hundreds it should you wish. Why buy two or three when you can print hundreds. Thank you very much for listening and check back again. I may have other tutorials coming.